the new topic that is creating, compiling and executing a program. Programming languages are used to develop both the system software and the application software. In previous video we have seen the software is of two types. One is system software and another one is application software. So in these both softwares we use the programming languages. So programming languages. Program is a set of instructions. So to create and execute of a program, user has to some of uh, has to follow some of the uh, steps. So the first one is create and edit of a program. So which is of uh, source code and compiling of a program. Uh, when we compile, it uh, goes to the machine code. Then linking of a program, which is the executable code and loading of a program so which gives the output so these four steps the user has to follow when he or she wants to create and execute a program the first one is a create and edit of a program which is the source code so to create and edit of a program user requires a software which is called as the editor so the editor is used to create and edit a, a, a program. The best editor is the notepad. So notepad is an example of editor. Once writing of program is completed, then user has to save the program in the following format. So after writing the program, the user has to save the program. So we have some of the file formats, nothing but the extensions. So we use in the form of file name dot extension. So for each, we have the some extensions. For example, for the C program, we save it as the .c. So file name .c. So for example, if you see hello .c, in this, the hello is the file name which I want to give and .c is the extension of C program. So hello .c is the uh, file. In this, the file, I have created the some of the programs. That, uh, the, to the file, I give the name it as hello.c now if you see some of the extensions we have like .pdf .java .jpeg .mp3 for the music player and .apk so these are all the extensions so in the in this format only we have to save the program so that is file name dot extension so this is the create and, and editing of a program Uh, so this is the user so user will create and edit a program so further the user will use the editor so the example here is notepad and then that is we are saving it uh, it to the file as hello.c so this is completely of source code so we know that the we write the programs in the form of source code nothing but the high level programming language so this is about the creating and compiling of a program then uh, create a uh, compiling of a program so this is a machine code so source code was coded in high level programming language so this source code we know that it is completely written by the user which is of high level programming language but the computer can understand only the low level programming language so for this that is only the machine language so we can call the low level programming language as the machine level language which is the machine code. Now this compiler is a software which translates the high level programming language to machine level programming language. So it uh, converts the source code to the machine code. So the compiler which is a software, it translates the source code to the machine code. Now the compiler has the two objectives. So those two objectives are the finding out the errors in the source code and it converts the source code to the machine code. The first one objective is finding out the so errors in the source code and the second one is it converts the source code to the machine code. So if you see here, so this is a source code which I am saving it as the hello.c. So this is a C program which is a source code which is written by the user. Now I am giving the source code to the compiler. Now this compiler which is a software, it converts the uh, source code to the machine code that is the second objective 
and it also find out the errors which are present in the source code. So if there are no errors, then it converts to the machine code. So that is uh, we are that that will be saved as the hello dot obj, which is the object file. So all the machine code which is uh, are saved as the extension as dot obj, nothing but the object files. When there are no errors, it converts to the machine code. We also know that compiler checks the errors in the source code. So for example, if errors are present, again it goes back to the source code, and then the errors are uh, rectified. Then again it is given to the compiler and again it checks whether uh, errors are there or not. So if no errors then it will be executed to the machine code and that will be saved as the hello.obj. So hello.obj so it is purely machine code. So in this uh, the object files are uh, only the purely it is consists of the machine code. So we have seen the, the best example for the machine code, a machine level language is the binary language, which contains only zero sign ones. So this is complete, uh, this is object file and which is purely consists of the machine code. So this is about the uh, compiling of a program. So the source code compiles, uh, it, the source code is given to the compiler and compiler checks whether the errors are there or not. If there are errors, then again it goes back to the source code. If there are no errors, then it goes to the uh, it converts to the machine code and it will be saved as the object file. Then the third one is the linking of a program, so which is the executable code. Now the linker is a software in computer system which can be used to link all the object modules into a single executable file. So from the second step, we got the object modules, nothing but the object files, which are of the .obj format. Now this is this linker is a software. It converts all the object modules, nothing but the all the object files, nothing but machine code, to into a single executable file. So now linking is a process of converting object file to the executable file. So this is nothing but the linking. Uh, let's see here machine code. We saved it as the hello.obj, nothing but the object file or the object module. Now all these object modules which is given to the linker. So linker is a software. It converts the machine code to the executable code. Now this executable code that will be saved as the hello.exe. So .exe is the extension for the executable files. Now the linker is a software. It converts the machine code to the executable code nothing but the uh, object file to the executable file so this is about the linking of a program which is the third step and the final step we have the loading of a program which we get finally we get the output now the name of the software is loader so in this loading of a program we use the software which is the loader so loader is a software in operating system to move which is used to move the files from hard disk to RAM for execution. So we send all the files which are present in the hard disk to the RAM for the execution of the program. So for that we use the loader software. Now the from the third step we got the executable code, nothing but the executable files. So that executable files are given to the loader, uh, loader software and this loader software. So these executable files are present in the hard disk and uh, to move it to, it to the RAM, we are using the loader and finally the execution of the code completes and finally we get the output. So this is about the loading of a program. So these are the four steps, creating and uh, editing of a program, then compiling of a program, linking of a program and loading of a program. Let's see all these four types in a single one. First, the user will create and edit a program and further to edit this program, we use the editor. So the example is the notepad and this editor, in this editor, we write the source code, nothing but the program. Now this program is given to the compiler and this compiler checks if uh, whether errors are there or not. So if no errors, then it goes to the, uh, it, uh, goes to the machine code. 
if there are errors then again it goes back to the source code and the errors are rectified then it converts to the machine code so this is of the form hello.obj now after getting the machine code we give it to the linker so linker is a software it converts all the machine code to the executable code um, nothing but the objective files to the executable files so then we get the executable file or executable code which is of the form hello.exe now these executable files are given to the loader to move it from the hard disk to the ram so finally we get the output and that output is given back to the user so this is a whole process which happens in the computer uh, this is all the steps for creating editing and compiling of a program